behalf of Caitlin and Preston, I'd like to welcome you all here today for this wonderful occasion. Um, we are gathered here today as witnesses to celebrate the marriage of Caitlin and Preston. Caitlin and Preston. They would both like to thank you for being here, um, especially under these uh, unprecedented circumstances. The most important thing about today is the commitment that you two are ready to make and not the weather or not to anything else that's going on, but the commitment that you guys are about to make for the rest of your life. Before we start the actual ceremony, I wanted to talk a little bit about marriage. The proclamation of the family issued by the Church of Jesus Christ over 20 years ago states, the family is ordained of God. Marriage between man and woman is essential to his plan. Children are entitled to birth within the bonds of matrimony and to be reared by a father and a mother who honor marital vows with complete fidelity. Happiness in family life is most likely to be achieved when founded upon the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Successful marriages and families are established and maintained on principles of faith, prayer, repentance, forgiveness, respect, love, compassion, work, and wholesome recreational activities. By divine design, fathers are to preside over their families in love and righteousness and responsible to provide the necessities of life and protection for their families. Mothers are primarily responsible for the nurture of their children. In these sacred responsibilities, fathers and mothers are obligated to help one another as equal partners. And that's one of the most important things about marriage is working together as equal partners. It doesn't matter what each of our roles is, as long as you guys work together as a team, um, I know that you'll be as successful as many of the, your parents and grandparents and all those people that you know. Um, Gordon B. Hinckley once said, love is not blind, it sees more, not less. But because love sees more, it is willing to see less. In other words, during courtship, you should keep your eyes wide open, but after marriage, you should Keep them half shut. So, <laughs> hopefully you figured out <laughs> what you don't like about each other and now you can put it behind you and move on because um, you're never going to look to those again. I want to encourage you to continue your courtship in marriage. Too often couples think that the wedding day is the end of their courtship when in reality is the beginning of an eternal courtship. You have great examples in both of your sets of parents and also all of your grandparents. It is rare in today's world that you see so many um, of your family members that have stayed married for so long. If you ever have questions, I would ask them. Because <laughs> they've made it longer than I have. So um, they're, they're more of uh, an authority than I am. I'm excited for the two of you. You're starting a wonderful journey together. It is my hope and prayer that your love for each other will continue to grow with the years, that your time together will be full of joy and happiness forever and ever. So at this point, is there someone who would like to give Miss Caitlin away? I do. So before we begin the actual marriage ceremony, I want to give you each an opportunity to exchange vows and let everyone know how you feel for each other. Preston, we'll start with you. I think everybody can be seated. I'm sorry. <laughs> Words cannot express what you mean to me. You are my inspiration, my role model, my best friend, and my lifelong partner. I've never loved someone the way that I love you. Your laugh, your sense of humor, your smile, your bubbly personality, and your commitment to our relationship make me the happiest man in the world. One of my favorite memories was on our third date when an older gentleman stopped us on the Enzyme and Keith Trail side and said to me, you better hurry up and marry that girl. <laughs> we both smiled and laughed to each other but didn't realize that God was foreshadowing our future together. My whole life people told me when you know, you know. I can promise that I know you are my soulmate. I know that I will always love you, support you, cherish you, I will always be your anchor through the good times and bad. You may even catch me saying yes, my dear, and how I. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin, you have turned my life right side up, and I cannot wait to spend the rest of my life with you. I am yours now and forever. Nicholas Tobin. Gentle, inspiring, warm, loving, selfless, hysterical, incredible, and genuine are not enough to accurately describe the man who stands before me. 
You are more and mean more to me than words can accurately describe. My heart consistently swells at the thought of so many of our fond memories together and how each one is so sweet because of a tender gesture, hysterical comment, or the sweet optimism we present. I managed to feel overwhelmingly beautiful and deserving of great love because of the adoring looks, acts of kindness, actions so full of tenderness and humility you showed me. You are so precious and I cannot feel more blessed and specially chosen to be your wife. You are my whole heart and soul. I promise to live all my days working to be deserving of you and your sweet spirit. I love you so deeply and will cherish you all of our days. Forever with you just isn't long enough. I gotta be yours forever and beyond. I love you. <laughs> you don't want to hold the flowers. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So at this point, if you would please take each other by the right hand. Remember, she has zero faults. Perfect imperfection. Preston Nicholas Tobin and Caitlin Murray Jones, you have taken one another by the right hand in token of the vows you will now enter into in the presence of God and his witnesses. Preston Nicholas Tobin, do you receive Caitlin Murray Jones? as your lawfully wedded wife, and do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise as her companion and lawfully wedded husband that you will cleave unto her and none else, that you will observe all laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to this holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish her as long as you both shall live. I do. Caitlin Murray Jones, do you receive Preston Nicholas Tobin as your lawfully wedded husband and do you, of your own free will and choice, solemnly promise as his companion and lawfully wedded wife that you will cleave unto him and none else, that you will observe, observe all the laws, responsibilities, and obligations pertaining to this holy state of matrimony, and that you will love, honor, and cherish him as long as you both shall live? I do. All right. Do you both have rings that you'd like to exchange at this point? in me as a bishop of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, I pronounce you, Preston Nicholas Tobin and Caitlin Marie Jones, husband and wife, legally and lawfully wedded for the period of your mortal lives. May God bless your union with joy in your posterity and a long life of happiness together. And may he bless you to keep sacred the vows you have made. These blessings I invoke upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. 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 You may now kiss each other as husband and wife. Thank <laughs> you.